Today's video will demonstrate the innings, the outings, the step-by-step -step that goes into creating a beam and block suspended floor slab foundation. Let's go in. This is a construction site built on a slopey ground. From the tarmac, we can all appreciate the foundation slab that has an eco-concrete beam and block foundation going on. From the onset, there will be no need to dig up a foundation for this residential home. The alternative to digging a foundation that will cost more time and money from excavation and backfill is a beam and block set piece that does the same, as engineer Celestine Mugambi explains. When it comes to putting up the block floors for the ground floor, yeah. how does beam and block check into, into this? It's straightforward, you just lay them directly on the walls. This could be just walls just from the excavations. Sometimes the engineers will recommend uh, you, you, you do the ring beams in case you have the, the long spans from the strip foundation. So you just lay them and ensure they're just straight higher from the ground. And you don't have to excavate the underlying materials or anything. Just do your excavation of the trenches alone and lay the beams. What is the minimum void allowance? The void, I believe you mean the, the space between the, the ground level yeah. and your slabs, the block and beam slabs. Basically, we want to leave as more space just to ensure that there's no contact with the ground because of any arising damp place to take care of that. So mm. any minimum about 150 millimeters off the ground. Okay. That will do. And also that will cater for there for any services we require below or underneath your slabs. How then do we lay the DPC when it comes to beam and block flooring for the foundation? Yeah, that should be quite straightforward because uh, like we've said already, the slabs we expect them to be a bit higher from the ground level. So in terms of DPC and DPM, go straight forward because DPM, you don't have to do it at all because there's no contact with the, between the slabs and the ground. And uh, for the DPC, you can always do them just before you lay, you lay before you lay your block and beam system, directly on the, the ring beam or directly on your walls. Is trench excavation enough or is the beam and block sufficient? Yeah, block and beam is uh, sufficient need to excavate all around the, the normal way and uh, install them. For the drainage in the house, uh, before installing the block and beam system, we ensure the plumber has them in place and to the right slopes, towards the manos and rest. It's taken care of all the levels as specified uh, by the engineer. After that, now you can cover the void in the block and beam and that's it with the drainage. How does beam and block flooring on the foundation save on costs? First uh, point to note is uh, sa saving on time because the installation is quite fast. You don't require a lot of time to prepare, to do the formwork, to do, you know, a lot of stuff. It's easy to install. Anyone can install even layman. You don't require any skilled labor to do the installation. This suspended eco-concrete floor slab took a couple of hours. It's as easy as ABC. And that means installing a hundred square meters can only take a day. Mm -hmm. 